Hi, Drew Thompson, Mark Development Agronomist with Pride Seeds, coming to you from Southern Oxford County today. And today I'd like to share a few thoughts on the critical weed-free period in corn. And I think most of us know that it's somewhere around that three to eight leaf stage of, of corn development, but I often get asked why? What is it about that stage that is so important that we need to make sure there's no weeds there? And so a lot of the thoughts are maybe, you know, it's the weeds that are competing for nutrients or maybe they're competing for moisture. And you know what, probably that's part of it, but really what it is, it's actually light. And it's not so much the light that's coming from the sky, it's the reflected light. And if you think about it, when we see plants, we see green. Why do we see that? Because the plant tissue actually absorbed the red spectrum within that light, leaving us with the blue and the yellow, back to primary colors, and that reflected light, that mixture, is green, and we see it. Well, guess what? So does the corn plant. And so when that light comes down and gets absorbed into green tissue next to it, weeds, and bounces back, the plants can actually detect that light, that reflected light that's missing that red spectrum. And so it goes, whoa, I've got stuff around me that's going to try to steal my nutrients, steal my moisture, I gotta get away from it. And what does it do? It goes into shade avoidance mode. And that is, it grows taller. It tries to get above those weeds. Okay, that makes sense. But if you've only got a finite amount of resources and you're putting all of that into growing upward you stop developing your roots or not stop but you reduce the development of the roots and what happens right around that v6 stage that's when the cobs starting to form on the inside and if you don't have a big healthy root system then you're going to form a smaller cob and that's why we get that that reduction in weed control so that's why we want to make sure that we have our fields as clean as we can you know again typically that three to eight leaf stage and and so we need to make it happen but what we need to do is we need to make sure that if there are weeds there in that critical weed free period we have to get rid of them fast and we need to get rid of the green and so what I would suggest you do is talk with your retailer or, or your, your chem supplier and say what options do I have that are going to fit into my operation thinking you know rotation and the weed spectrum that can help kill them but not just kill them kill them quickly so that there's no longer that green tissue 